Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about the best of ChatGBT. Firstly, what is ChatGBT? ChatGBT is a, is a very smart robot that can talk using a computer. It was made by a company called OpenAI. Here are some special aspects of ChatGBT. First, language understanding and generation. ChatGBT is designed to understand and generate a human, like text. It can answer questions, participate in conversations, and remember paste text and more. How it learned. It, it learned to talk by giving us, uh, giving us a lot of information and reading a lot of books, articles, and giving it transcripts of movies. It uses patterns of language to predict the next word in a sentence, and that is how it can write back to use. What can it do? ChatGPT can assist on various tasks, such as summarizing information, financial advice, translating languages, writing code, and help you understand concepts, and so much more. The difference between uh, the free version and the paid version. The ChatGPT free version. Accessibility. It is, it's available when demand is low, but high demand. Users might face difficulty accessing it or experience longer wait times. Response time. The response, response time can be quite low, which might be frustrating for users needing quick replies. Updates. Users receive regular model updates, but they do not get priority access to new features or improvements. The usage limit. There is no limit to how many times the free version can be used. ChatGPT Plus, the paid version. It costs $20 per month and accessibility. Subscribers have general access even at peak time, during peak times, avoiding the wait due to high demand. The response time. Offers faster response times compared to the free version, making it quick and smooth for interaction for users. The features. Subscribers get priority access to new features, improvements, which might include advanced cap capabilities, not available in the free version, like searching the web, making your own chatbot better, and making code, and using plugins. The knowledge, uh, GBT4, making has a better understanding of a non's prompts and can maintain context over larger conversations, and it provides more accurate, relevant responses, especially on complex topics. The pros and the cause of ChatGPT, the pros. It can handle wide range of tasks from answering questions to generating creative content like writing essays. It's available to anyone with internet access and at, at any time, which means that you can have access to limitless information at any time. It can respond in a human-like manner to it's easy to understand and you can word it to make it understand a concept that might can be hard to understand. It's a, it's a valuable tool for learning. The cons. ChatGPT knowledge is limited to the data it was trained on and doesn't include real-time information. It might lie to make up information, so always double check if it's telling the truth. Can be biased. Can, ha can have biases. How to sign up. First, search ChatGPT or OpenAI. This is the link. I'll, be, I'll share it after I'm done with the presentation. Second, click on sign up. Third, first easy sign up and login using your Apple, Google, Microsoft account, or you can always just do it manually. Put your password and uh, put your email and create a, your password. Sign up. If you sign up with your Apple, Apple, Google, or Microsoft account to sign up, it will use the password that you log into that account, and it will need and you will need a phone number to verify if you're not a spam account. You have your personal doctor, uh, twenty four seven. How can I you how can I use it to see my condition? So when you explain something to the AI, you need to be very explicit and give it a lot of detail. Here's an example. I have a rash on my hands that has not gone away after a week of having it. Before then, I got a cough and a runny nose. I still have a runny nose, but right after I started getting a lot of dots, not only on my hands, and they're and they're itchy. If there is any questions you want to ask me, please ask them and give me con the conditions that I might possibly have. You can also 
It can also tell it to recommend you to a medicine based on the conditions and how that medicine might help you with your condition, your, your condition you ha you're have, but take it with a grain of salt and ask a doctor before buying it. It can be your personal financial advisor. Same thing as a same as uh, same thing as using it for health to be explicit with detail. Example. So I'm planning to lease a car which is worth thirty thousand dollars. I'm planning on paying seven hundred uh, seven hundred nine seven hundred nine hundred dollars a month. My credit score is between seven hundred and seven thirty. Do not give it your actual credit do not give it your actual credit score. Based on those numbers, what do you think will be my uh, best interest and how much uh, I will have will I have to pay in the total interest based on the interest you gave me if you have more questions or scenarios you can always give it to the AI and it will calculate based on that scenario it can be your personal teacher if you're curious about any uh, any complex topic you can try to under try to explain that concept in a way that you may be it might be able to understand that you might be able to understand example may you explain this concept to me something that you're curious about please explain it like you're explaining it to a senior if you don't if you don't understand a part that is saying highlight and copy and paste it the copy and paste the part you don't get and just tell it oh i don't get this part can you explain it can you explain this part more can use it to search up something like Google. If you have a question you can ask the AI, it will respond based on the topic you're giving, uh, you're asking different from Google and how it sometimes gives you useless information. How is this done to, to the AI thinks like a human and connects the worlds in your words in your sentence together and spits out information connecting with the words. Example, who were the cast of, in Marvel Endgame? Ethics. Be nice and polite to these minor mini helpers. They can help you with these examples and so much more. So always remember to say thank you, even though it might be seem, it may it might seem weird to say it to a computer. Thank you for listening.